Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Vikram. In this class, we will try to understand routing information protocol. In short, it is called as RIP versus open stay open shortest path first in short it is called as ospf so these two are protocols so we will try to understand the difference so by understanding those differences we will try to understand the concepts of rip and ospf rip stands for routing information protocol ospf stands for open shortest path first so these are uh, rip and uh, ospf are interior gateway protocols icp interior gateway protocols means they are used so there are different types of uh, gateway protocols igp bgp border gateway protocols egp exterior gateway protocols so the uh, rip and uh, ospf or interior gateway protocols which means that they are used within the network for example if you take large networks like uh, 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 just like uh, reliance or bsnl so they are having their network throughout the country so in that case, case there are these kind of uh, uh, gateway protocols to generate the shortest path among the routers that are used in different states of India so uh, uh, different routers that are used to interconnect the networks so for that interconnection of the networks to generate the shortest path among the routers uh, within that network uh, so we are going to use so this is what that that kind of networks is what we call it as uh, interior gateway protocols broad border gateway protocols means they are different so uh, uh, when uh, so the continents are getting connected so if the continents are getting connected so there the routing that is used the uh, the routing protocols that are used to generate the shortest path is what we call it as border gateway protocols and rip is an interior gateway protocol based on dvr dvr stands for distance vector routing so what what is this this point is very important to understand based on dvr and this is an interior gateway protocol protocol based on LSR link state routing pro, routing algorithm so these two are routing algorithms DVR and LSR are concepts and those concepts are implemented uh, by using RIP and OSPF so the concepts that we have covered in our previous videos uh, distance vector routing and uh, link state routing those are all the routing algorithm concepts and uh, uh, the DVR is implemented by using Bellman Ford algorithm and the LSR LSR is implemented uh, LSR so that concept of link state routing is using the uh, Dijkstra's algorithm and the concept of distance vector routing is using the Bellman fold algorithm so try to get that uh, thin line of difference so RIP is a protocol protocol means set of rules and those set of rules are based upon uh, based upon distance vector based upon the concept of distance vector routing and the distance vector routing is implemented uh, uh, by using Bellman Ford algorithm similarly OSPF is a protocol set of rules and those set of rules are implemented are, 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 are designed based upon the concept of LSR link state routing concept and that link state routing is implemented by using Dijkstra's algorithm Dijkstra's, Dijkstra's algorithm is an algorithm okay so that that is the difference so that that thin line of difference between a protocol and uh, uh, algorithm you, you you should understand the concept okay so it is based uh, basically used sorry uh, used for uh, smaller size networks smaller size organizations and it is basically used for large size organizations in the network so bigger organizations uh, use this ospf and smaller organizations can use this uh, uh, rip it allows a maximum of 15 hops so the hop count uh, the maximum count the infinity is represented by using 15 hops there is no restriction there is no such, uh, such restriction in the hop count in ospf we don't have such kind of uh, hop count restrictions because we don't have the problem of count to infinity so here we are having count to infinity problem and here we don't have uh, count to infinity problems okay so it calculates uh, the matrix in terms of hop count so metric is so the matrix of calculate calculating the short Shortest path. So the uh, the metric that is used between the routers is uh, it is based upon hop count, and here the metric is in terms of bandwidth. Okay, and the next one is simple to implement. Next one, uh, the 
uh, routing information protocol is very simple to implement but in order to implement the OSPF uh, 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 implementation in the sense writing the program for OSPF is yes, complex it is very complex to implement the next one is slow convergence uh, convergence time and it is fast convergence time so what that convergence time is so the periodically uh, the data will get transferred among the routers right so in that process every time the shortest path has to be constructed periodically will get constructed every time the things will uh, get executed so for the generation of that shortest path the the routing table th that is what we call it as convergence time so to get generate that uh, routing table based upon which the routing happens so that generation that convergence time is very slow so it is going to take a bit amount of time uh, as we have discussed in the Bellman Ford the efficiency and the Bell uh, Dijkstra's algorithm efficiency so with that you can understand which one is more efficient the Di Dijkstra's is uh, more efficient so the convergence time is very fast for uh, OSPF whereas uh, for the convergence time for uh, 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 routing information protocol is uh, very slow okay so this is the basic difference between uh, routing information protocol and open shortest path first uh, uh, protocol hope you got the clarity on this concept thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates and if you have any doubts regarding this concept please post your doubt in the comment section below and if you feel that this video is helpful to you please give us a like symbol and please share this video with your friends so that they will also get benefited thanks for watching